Hey y'all, welcome back to City Skylines. This is Cliffside Bay, the city of unlocks. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we can do in today's episode. So yeah, I think we're going to be concentrating on, or if you look over here, this is um, all this coloration here was kind of a yellowy green. There you go. Uh, that is um, that's predominantly farmland. You can see that from a, a zoom out. You can see that all this is farmland. Now I've got a little bit of ore over here, and apparently there's some oil, and I don't think I've got access to that, or will ever get access to that. <laughs> I kind of think so. I'm thinking. Definitely want to continue with the farming thing, which we got a little bit of here, a little bit of here, a little bit there. What we're going to do, we're going to buy all this tile here. Purchase that for 14600 There we go, so we got that. And that gives us access to, I think this is this little design here, this kind of a graying kind of green color. That is ore from what I remember. We're going to do a little bit of an ore industry. So what I like to do is I always put down a path. And what that is, that gives me a kind of a bounty to where the ore is. There we go. So it's, it's kind of an indicator for me to try not to build over that little area here. There we go. And then I can um, fill that in and create a zone, paint a district. There we go. So we're going to call that garden door. <laughs> now I know what that is. There we go. So that's kind of cool. So we can put a little bit of um, designer industry down there. A little bit of designer industry there. But here we're going to go for some wall-to-wall -wall kind of um, industries. It's going to be a kind of generic industrial zone as we got here. Uh, so yeah, that's going to put extra pressure on the traffic. So I think we might have to come away with like another interchange design just for this little area here. So can we do another interchange? So let me have a go at shaping the land a bit. Okay, so let's see if we can put in a bit of a, an exchange. Now I'm thinking maybe we'll just go for a normal generic kind of city based one. So this is the level of the ground. That's flat. Okay. So I'm thinking we delete a bunch of deleting. So let's see how we're going to do this. Uh, yeah, let's put a, the biggest road I can find, which is not a highway road on one of the one of these roads here. So we've got this so far initially, so I might do a little bit of change on these. I'm kind of coming up with an idea. Maybe I can put a kind of a rail track between all them somehow. Uh, so do I have to put down the station first? Maybe that's what I got to do. Drop down a station. There we go. That opens that up. So let's put a track in. Now I'm thinking, is there a way of me putting a track in the middle of these? There we go. I like that. It's kind of an interesting design, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're left with that. Um, I'm think. Can I? I'm not too sure if I can get this to clear. If if not, I'll just increase the spaces here. So let me have a look on here. So it's normally one, two, three, isn't it? Okay, so it's not making. It's not clearing that, I believe. So yeah. Okay, now I know what to do. Okay, perfect. Like that, there we go. So that works for me. I'm kind of happy with that. Now we're going to put in the train line. Kind of fits in there. Okay, that's perfect. Let's do a little measurement from here to here is 200. So it's 200 pop. 200 there. There we go. So we're going to put in the next road that way. Yeah. And hopefully we can get all this connecting in. Perfect, there we go, happy with that. So let's convert that. We've got that in place. So let's kind of um, bring all this into here somehow. So <laughs> let's see what we can do with this.
you go and what you can see me doing here is I'm trying to maintain that kind of 200 distance but if I put a couple of loads here it helps me kind of um keep all this kind of uniform that kind of thing so that's my reason behind that so now let's go back onto this highway road here and then we're just gonna kind of join these on free form take off all the snapping points and as long as I get them kind of joining on there it might should work a treat You go it's a little bit wider there but uh, i'm okay with that so there you go so that's uh, one way of kind of in maintaining the kind of equal distance between there and there looks a little bit janky that's because it's on a lumpy bumpy hill <laughs> so there you go all right i could make that even more precise if i want to but i'm kind of okay with that so we're going to do the same here There we go, that's kind of cool. A little bit of um, tweaking here and there, but it's kind of maintains that shape. So that's kind of, a, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go, so that's our way of doing that. Okay, so we've got this. Now let me see if I can come up with some kind of um, up the top of my head kind of messy design. Yeah, let's see if we can come up with something. So I'm thinking, uh, let's put in a road. Uh, let's go for <laughs> let's go for a normal road. This is gonna look absolutely crazy. Now, where can I put this road? Maybe here, like that. And we're gonna do a similar one, kind of about there. I think we're gonna put a road there, like that. <laughs> so it looks a little bit crazy. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna yeah, we're gonna raise up the land here. So let's do that right now. So there we go, it looks like that is kind of interesting. <laughs> got to work with what you got. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go with that. So I'm happy with that. So we got this in and out road, in and out road here. So we're going to kind of join them up. We're going to go with a two lane one way. This one here will be fine. Where can we join this up? Maybe there? Now let's do a little bit of um, reforming. So there we go. So it's a little bit of a messy, crazy design, but I, I'm okay with that because I want it to be a very complex and very busy looking kind of um, crazy interchange, that kind of thing. So we're going to do the same thing over here. There we go, so we got that right now. Looks like that. It's a little crazy. Uh, this little cross section here gives them the chance to um, get onto the highway here. There you go. So it's kind of interesting. So what we got to do, we got to try and come up with a way of replicating that, but over here. <laughs> so can we do that? Let's try. So we'll do a little bit of deleting here. And then we're going to do a little bit of, um, let me see. Yeah, I think we're going to go for a little bit of flat terrain. So what is that? That would be kind of, yeah, that's kind of, ooh, okay. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit higher. So maybe here. Right, there you go. I've cleared a whole bunch of trees. Now let's kind of come up with uh, maybe... I don't know, maybe a kind of an elaborate traffic circle. So we got six lanes, which is overkill. So 
Yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting. So I'm not too sure how we're going to do this. I'm thinking maybe we go for three lane one way. That might be the best idea. So the center would be kind of here where this rail track is. Carries on along here, so that's okay. We got that. So let's see if we can come up with a traffic circle. So this is going to be a kind of an interesting one. Um, I'm thinking we go maybe... 480 would be okay. Let's go 480 each way. Then let's go 560. Let's flatten this out a bit more. There you go. That gives us enough one off room. Okay, so let's go 160 and 160. Like that. And then delete this. Delete that. Like that. Now let's see if we can do a little bit of um twisting and a turning. <laughs> so that kind of hooks in there. You can see the guidelines where they naturally want to hook in. Like that. Okay, so that's interesting. So what we want to do is we want to kind of, um, yeah, let's carry on with these three lane modes. I think might be the best idea. I'm thinking we come off maybe here. Put that in there. We're going to do the same here. So we follow the guideline there. Like that. So that's okay. And then we can carry that on into there like that. And this one we can carry on there like that. Just for now, just to see what it looks like. And then we're going to kind of cut that off there. And then we're going to kind of join that in into here, that kind of thing. Alright, so we're gonna flip this one over to this street here, like that, like we did before with this one. And then we're gonna kind of um, join these in somehow. Let's work this out. It's gonna be crazy. So, let's see if we can replicate that. So it naturally wants to fit in there, okay. So I am good with that. There we go, and then we can Go freeform and then we can carry on this ramp here and kind of meet up in a similar place there. But let's make sure we got a, a node. So, um, do a little bit deleting. Have this road here like that. There we go. And then we can hook this highway back in with the correct node. Like that. Delete that. Hook that in like that. There we go. Happy with that. Do a little bit of changing around. That. That's perfect. And we've created this node here. A bit more changing around. There we go. Perfect. And then we can hook this in. There you go. It looks a little bit like that. It's a bit kind of strange and kind of ugly and not exactly correct with the lane mathematics. So the only reason why I've got these roads are six lanes is because that's the only option I've got. So I want these roads to be kind of big, that kind of thing. I don't have any one-way streets in this section here, or I would do that. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame, but yeah, we're going to stick with this kind of janky, ugly-looking kind of design. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to replicate this on the other side. And I'll see you at the end of all this. So there you go, that's my absolutely crazy design. <laughs> it looks a little bit crazy and messy, but I, this is what I wanted. I want it to look absolutely crazy and messy. I'm not looking to make the most be beautiful, correct designs. I'm just having a little fun and experimenting. There you go, uh, with mods, I bet you I can make this absolutely beautiful, but I'm kind of happy with that. Let's go on to here. Now let's, um, now let's uh, delete this road here start that again. Now I want to go kind of underground, so we're going to go page down. About there is fine. 
And then we're gonna go maybe a little bit straighter. I'm gonna continue that to about there. And then we're gonna freeform that. And then we're gonna bring that above ground. Just about there. There we go. That's kind of cool. And then we move this rail track. We're gonna bring this all the way over here. Just for now. And then we're gonna try and hook this in. Here we go, I am happy with that, so we can carry that train track all the way along there, that kind of thing. Put a little bit of an oil industry in here, maybe we can have a, a cargo terminal here, maybe we can have another cargo terminal down here. Turn this into a proper industrial zone, so let's see what we do here. So let's get on, so I want to do something a little crazy, so let's stick with this road here, which was... Uh, this one It's this one here, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go uh, straight. So this is the biggest traffic circle you've ever seen in your life. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of cool, and will I do that? I think I might do that. Uh, let's see if I can get these going the right way around. There we go, perfect. Leave that one there. And that, there we go, so we got this. So, so can I change this into, I don't know, make this more rounder? Is that the word? <laughs> let's round off these corners, let me put it that way. There you go, so a quick way of uh, how to round things up. <laughs> there you go. Bit of a tight turn, but I'm okay with that. That's what I want. Now I'm going to see if I can come up with a plan. Now my plan is I'm going to do a kind of a boundary line. Uh, the footprint of the whole Argo train station, I guess. So maybe that on straight just for now. Yep. Well, there would be fine. I'm not too sure, actually. Let's go kind of here. Okay, that's that. That's kind of interesting. Delete that. Don't need that. So, what does that look like? A little bit lumpy and bumpy, but I don't mind that. This is just a kind of a, a boundary marking kind of road. This is not actually going to be a road. It's going to be something else, and I'll tell you what that is later on. So I'm thinking... Let's see, where can I put this? Maybe... I kind of like it to be there. I think maybe one over. back over here like that there we go so yeah this is going to be my layout so you can see um i'm doing it on the fly but you can still come up with something kind of crazy and kind of inventive i guess now what we're going to do now is we're going to drop the land down so i'm not too sure how far down i want to go this is going to be a bit of an experiment there we go so we got that design there so what i want to do now is i want to Put these roads back in. Okay, so let's uh, move this 
train, cargo train station. About, I think I want it there. That looks about okay to me. Yep, that'll work. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's put in that other road. put that straight in there like that and the one straight in there like that. Now we're going to change this up a little later on. Um, but for now I'm okay with that. So that's kind of cool. I'll leave this road here. Let's see if this is wide enough. Now I'm looking at this and I can see this is not wide enough. So we're going to make this a little wider. So do a little bit more deleting. Okay, I am happy with that. So that's kind of cool. So next thing is we're going to flood all this. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of crazy. So my trick is, as per usual, is uh, we put in some water pumps. Uh, no, some water drainage pipes. There we go. We got that. So all we got to do now is press play and go to our key walls, which are these ones here, I believe. Now, shall I put one with trees? I'm not too sure because I've never really used them. So I'm just going to go with the standard ones. I want to see if I can fit these in kind of here. Okay, let's press play and watch the water come in. And there we go. And now we got a key wall on the inside. Then we can probably do the same here that and then hopefully we can bring it across here like that there we go so that's how you put in key walls for those who have never watched how to do that that's how you put key walls without mods in in land there you go all you need is a little bit of water that kind of thing so we're let's delete this there we go we don't need that anymore we got the key walls we need but yeah i'm kind of happy with that now all we need to do is get rid of the water and that's where we put in the pumps as you can see, they will fit in kind of easy, like that. And what you got to do is make sure you don't connect them to the mains, and they should be okay, I hope. There you go. You see, they're sucking up the water, but they're not giving the water to anybody else. It's just disappearing. <laughs> there you go. So you got your sunken kind of cargo train station. There we go. A rail yard, that kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. So what we're going to do with this train track here is we are going to kind of make a tunnel, I guess, or put it on the ground, that kind of thing. So let's do that right now. Put that on straight for now. And let's just go down one square like that. I think that is OK. And then we're going to put that on freeform. And then we're going to kind of try and get it to hook up to that line there. That's the whole idea behind all of this. We go so that's kind of cool and then we can carry this train line on later on and bring that above ground and we can have a normal station down there that kind of thing so that's my thinking behind that so we got that hooked into that so the main line i hope yes we do there we go that's kind of cool and then what we want to do is put another little kind of maybe a cargo train station kind of here so let's do that right now all we need to do now is Put in a two lane one way, I think is the best idea. Get rid of my boundary F. It's a shame I'm deleting that. I kind of want to keep that. That's going to go fit in just about there. That would be the center. OK, there we go. That is the center. We're not going to have this as a rail yard. We're just going to have the single end track there. Uh, 
might put one more track. I think I will put one track, yeah. Okay, let's do that. There we go, so I'm happy with that. Uh, that's best as can be done without any mods, and I don't really want to take too much time on it because this is only a video for you guys. So this is my oil industry rail yard. The oil industry you can see has been marked out by this pap here. All this is going to be ore. But this is a crazy kind of interesting, weird interchange, which I kind of wanted like that. Uh, this is the sunken rail yard for the for the industry which is going to be around here we're going to do maybe a couple of tweaks for the roads and shaping of the land that kind of thing but i'm kind of happy with that maybe i can do um let's have a look see what we got so let's we'll delete that don't need that anymore so can i smooth this out that's my question let's put that on medium strength and medium There we go. I am happy with that. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to restructure all this, and hopefully, we can have this as a kind of a raised kind of highway, that kind of thing, and then we can fill all this with the industry, that kind of thing. And as you can see, I've used a whole bunch of money. So let's get this running and see what happens. Uh, we got all this connected here. That's fine. Let's delete this. Seems to be running. Okay, uh, let's connect this train line in. Now I've made a bit of money. And if I do that, you should hopefully start getting um, cargo trains coming in here and here, I believe. I believe. So let's try that out. There we go. I'm kind of happy with that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neato. <laughs> I like that. That's really cool. So yeah, let's uh, do a bit more smoothing out here. That's okay. That seems to be working. Let's work out on here. This little small. Like that. That's kind of cool. I like that. Make that a bit more natural looking. So hopefully we can Put a bit of foliage and rocks, that kind of thing there to make that look kind of natural. But it looks like that. So we got a little bit of a train tunnel there. So that's kind of cool. I like that. So yeah, happy with that. Um, Got to give it water. But as you can instantly see, we got the cargo train. We got the cargo instantly appearing here. And we're going to be probably getting similar things over here later on. So let's make sure we got all the water pipes connected. Okay, uh, let's give them maybe a little bit of temporary power. So we got to be making a little bit of money. We want 6,000. Okay. Okay, made enough money. Uh, let's put in a temporary wind turbine. We're going to put one right up here. Maybe one up here just for now. And can connect that in. Okay, that should be working fine. And then we're going to just run a line up here. This is all temporary, of course. There we go. I might leave these permanently up here. I'm not too sure. Okay, so that looks perfect. I'm kind of happy with that. So let's have a look at our lines. So 
So we can get into the cargo station from this way, but we can't get in from this way. So let's do one little connection here, I think is the best thing to do. So let's try that out. So this one here, let's go above ground this time. See if we can connect that in somehow. Yeah, that's kind of OK. So I'm kind of happy that it's kind of a um, lumpy, bumpy natural terrain, which we can work on and decorate and make it look absolutely perfect. But I am absolutely happy with that. And you can see just a little bit of smoothing. And it looks OK. So there we go. Now we got a rail track that can connect into this cargo station here, which is the R train station, I guess. So there you go. This is the connection. And you've got to try and leave enough space for a train to get in and turn around, that kind of thing. So that's why that is like that. It should be a lot lot wider than that, but we'll stick with that. I don't think we're going to get super busy. Now, I'm not going to connect a track here because they only need goods coming from maybe this station here or coming from out of town here, as you can see here. Which they got that option or coming from out of town here. As you can see, they got that option. So there you go. It was kind of... It's busy, it's crazy, it's a very crazy inventive build, but that's kind of what I'm good at, really. So there we go. So let's see if we got any cargo trains willing to use this. Here we go, I can see a train pulling in. This is kind of cool. There it is. Um, let me pause the game. Is that on the slowest speed? It is, okay, still looks absolutely super fast. So let's watch that in action, I guess. There you go, they're loading and unloading and that kind of thing and all these trucks is magically appear from nowhere and they're going to be using this little kind of a connection interchange, that kind of thing. There we go, it's pretty successful. It's not completely super busy until I get all this industry built in. Got nothing coming in here, but that'll come within time. So where are they all going? Uh, let's look, check their destinations. They're all coming along here, going across here. Long here, and where are you delivering to? Home Improvement Center, okay, which is just there. There we go. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And you got a tractor, and surely you got to be going to a farm. Uh, you are going, yeah, you're going to a farm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, let's follow this tractor and see what happens. There you go. That wasn't too bad a journey. <laughs> kind of happy with that. That's kind of cool. Uh, this is this looks super busy when you slow this ride down, but it's it's okay. I'm okay with that because I want it to look like a real city. Real cities look like that. I haven't seen a cargo train here yet, but they will appear when I start getting the industry filled here. But I'm absolutely happy with that. I'm gonna do a little bit more smoothing of the terrain. Let's have a look. Can that's okay. I like that. There we go, that is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Happy with that. Really happy with that. So while that's building up some money, uh, let's flatten all this out to this level here, which is what I wanted at. There we go, so let's uh, do a little bit of a uh, changing of this. There we go, so let's put all this industry in, then we can start working towards 10,000 squares of industry. There we go, which is the original reason why I've started all this kind of um, planning out, that kind of thing. So yeah, we can start on filling that in. Let's go to Marquee, my favorite selection. There we go, hopefully this bus stop will kick back in. There it is, that one's working, and this one should be working soon. There we go. 
and this one. There we go, perfect. We'll move him back in to fulfill that. So let's watch that, see what happens. <laughs> Look at that, absolutely crazy. Well, let's come out of here. Let me slow that down before I panic too much. Come back into this. There we go. So there we go. That is absolutely beautiful. That's filled in. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Although, is it really beautiful? Smelly, stinky industry. I don't know. It's. I, I think there's beauty in there somewhere. <laughs> there we go. So let's see. Did we get anywhere? Oh, so there we go. We're just under 4,000 and taking or counting was at um, Statue of Industry. So there we go. Maybe I can put the Statue of Industry in the middle of there. <laughs> That's a thing we could do. There we go. So I think I'm absolutely happy with that. That's kind of a cool, crazy kind of um, cargo episode. Crazy cargo, I guess we could call this episode. I do like that. Just got to wait for the cargo to be booking in there but yeah I'm kind of happy with that so yeah I, I think we might call that the end of this episode and what I might do is I might do a little bit of um beautification that kind of thing do a little bit of detailing and we'll call that the end of the episode we still got a high demand for industry well that's interesting I'll tell you what before we do that um let's put in a couple of things of first of all let's get rid of that don't need that uh, let's put in a couple of things to encourage people to move in down here or to work down here, that kind of thing. Uh, let's put in a, maybe a fire department. Um, I'll put a big one in. Does that fit in? Looks kind of okay. Looks kind of okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then maybe we could put in a couple of offices. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Just to give it a little bit of authenticity. <laughs> Is that a word? Well, it is now. And now let's maybe put in a police department. It looks okay. Kind of works. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So, oh, look, people, are, officers are moving in and this is going to be used. So I'm kind of happy with that. So is this a one-way system? I can't remember. Oh, it should be. Let's convert that to a one-way system. And what else was I going to do? I was going to do something else. Oh, yeah, I remember now. So we're not quite done yet. <laughs> Flatten that out like that, and we're gonna flatten that out like that. I'm gonna delete that like that, like that. There we go. So what I want to do is I want to do a bit of changing with these streets here. So we're just gonna go just here and delete that, delete that, and that. And all we want to do is do a little bit of twisting and turning. So what kind of roads do I want? We want these to be one-way roads. Put that on reform. Like that, and like that. There we go. Perfect. And then all we need to do is convert these. There you go. That's a lot better. Uh, let's, um, yeah, let's see if I can flatten this out again. Yep, that works for me. So I'm happy with that. And let's do max strength, uh, max area, movification. Like that, and now I'm intending to put a road going across here and expanding up this kind of area here. Maybe having something on the hill, that kind of thing. So that's my thinking behind that. Ghost, we got that kind of weird wacky design it's going to be kind of farm land this is going to be an oil industry this is probably going to be generic industry huge kind of industrial kind of vibe going on here we got these two cargo trains we're going to have a proper train station here we're going to have a mountain road and 
We're going to have the Statue of Industry placed in here. Maybe we'll have a couple of hillside or mountainside buildings, maybe the observatory, that kind of thing. That's when we turn this into a real city. So I'm kind of happy with that. That looks pretty cool. Let's see if anything pops in now. Here we go. We've got an office building here, so that's kind of cool. Speed that along. And there you go. We got a cargo train here, so that's kind of cool. I'm really happy with that. Well, let's watch that and there we go that's going off so that's kind of cool it just kind of appeared it didn't arrive it just appeared when all these trucks loaded up it's kind of strange how that happens but it, we always use a little bit of imagination but yeah i'm happy with that that is really cool <laughs> well that's kind of cool so let's do add a couple of little things in here let's put a road in um the trees i don't know maybe oh no let's go for this one this will be fine and put that just about there would be fine and then we're going to put and get that kind of how close can i get that let's take away low road length about there seems to work fine yeah i am okay with that now let's uh put in a couple of stores a little tiny stores i think might work a treat there you go gives people more purpose for coming down here so I'm kind of cool with that, and these are the offices for the probably the people who work at the well yard, that kind of thing. So yeah, this is going to be full of industry and offices. So I think we are just about done. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, let me slow that right down. We So we've not unlocked anything yet, but we've got the gears in motion to do unlocks, like the 10,000 squares of industrial zone, which we'll be concentrating on probably next next week i guess so there we go i think we call that the end of the episode but what i'll do is i'll leave you with another time lapse of me doing a little bit of beautification around here and around here that kind of thing so uh yeah i'm absolutely happy with that so yeah i'll meet you at the end of all this uh detailing
Right, so there you go, everybody. I think we are just about done. So let me give you an overview of what we got done today. Uh, so today was really about planning for the future of, um, you know, turning this into a huge kind of industrial kind of center business and a business center. This is going to be farmland. Uh, this is going to be like a, a small oil industry. We've created the a couple of cargo train terminals. Now this one here is the oil industry and this one is just to feed the industrial center here. So there you go. And now I've made this one sunken. So it was a bit of um, kind of my normal standard design work, which I did in my very first city, which I have not really been doing that in this because this is a city of unlocks, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> So I put a little bit of um, office work and a couple of commercial buildings here, just to give it a bit of interest. Well, this is yet to be detailed, but here we go. So this is the um, Argo kind of train terminal. Looks like that. Got a tunnel here, which goes all the way under here and it comes out here. Here we go. And then it goes into another tunnel here and it will pop out just here. There you go. And it'll pop out just here. There we go. So yeah, um, so yeah, we come up with this kind of crazy kind of interchange and I'm okay with that. I want this to be kind of a busy one. If it gets absolutely too busy when I've got all this industry popping in, I've got a future plan. So yeah, I've given myself enough wiggle room to change this around, but I want it like this for now. It's a bit of a crazy design, but I'm okay with that. Obviously we got to detail this, but this is it for now until I change it around. There you go. That's kind of cool. There you go. Now, I like my cities to look like they're lived in and like they're proper cities, which is why I like these streets being kind of busy. <laughs> I don't like them empty. The road looks like that, then it looks fake. Doesn't look real, does it? So there you go. Uh, so yeah, I created this kind of weird kind of traffic circle. We're using this huge road. I use this huge road here because we don't have, um, we don't have these roads here as a one-way system. We've only got a one-way system with these six lane modes. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, what else did we do? Um, yeah, obviously I've got the train track is going to carry on down here. Another maybe tunnel. Then we're going to have a proper train station down here somewhere. And we're going to maybe move these creators library up at the top here, which is why I've done this slope for a future mountain trail, I guess. So that's kind of cool. Obviously, I'm going to expand on this, fill this with industry, that kind of thing. And what else do we do? And we also, like I said, we created this um, cargo terminal here for the oil industry. This is going to be a miniature oil industry. This is my boundary using this path here. Shows you where all the oil is. There you go. Um, and then I spent the last few hours uh, detailing. Now, this is a... Kind of a country little kind of um road here which is pretty cool i like this kind of um old-fashioned i don't know rustic kind of bridge it looks pretty cool I like that i really love it when the map makers leave a couple of things here like these logs here so whenever i see things like that i try and preserve them uh, here we had like this huge blank empty canvas and i didn't know what to do with it so i kind of turned it into a bit of a kind of place to visit and do a little bit of shopping and he's got places for people to work around here to go to get something to eat and that kind of thing so that's my idea behind that there we go a little bit of slow scrolling and like i said i've made use of the what the map makers have laid down here so that's pretty cool so i've turned this into a kind of a i don't know a log storage yard that kind of thing and as you can see here, I've done my usual trick of putting props together. This is a, I find it, where is it? Oh, this is it here. It goes food store number two. And you can kind of turn these into new buildings by um, merging them in together like that. There you go. So it looks like a kind of a shed. So yeah, like I said, you can create something beautiful with hardly anything. As long as you got your imagination. But yeah, I'm kind of pleased with that build. So I hope you enjoyed that with everybody. Um... So in the meantime, sincerely look after each other, have a really nice day, and I will see y'all 